at 530, we're going in depth on recent incidents across the country involving police officers. Several have been shot in recent days. On Friday, a Providence patrolman was shot on duty. Yesterday in California, three officers were injured in a shooting near a highway. And just last night in New Haven, Connecticut, an off-duty officer was shot. As we've reported, the officer in Providence survived thanks to the bulletproof vest he was wearing. And the captain in New Haven, Connecticut is out of surgery and recovering. Tonight, Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us to break down the law enforcement perspective of these incidents. I'm joined by Eyewitness News law enforcement analyst and the former colonel of the Rhode Island State Police, Steve O'Donnell. Colonel, three officers shot making the headlines in the last less than five days. What's your initial thought when you hear about that? Safety. So when it's out there in the public domain, they wake up in the morning, they think about it every time they strap on that uniform in their vest that this could be the day. As a young trooper or young officer that is in the field, they're in their cruiser out on patrol, patrol how do they process uh, shootings like this? I have to imagine this amps up the stress level for them in an already stressful job. There's no question. That's the best way to say it. It amps up the stress. If you're in Rhode Island and you have a province police officer getting shot or some in New Haven, it goes to the psyche of the police. So I think the public should know when a police is approaching you how you should act that the policeman's thinking safety first when they're approaching a car or approaching a situation where the police are called or just approaching public in general because the the state of vigilance that law enforcement's at because of incidents like happened in the last couple of days. Did you see over your decades working in law enforcement that operational tactical approach to a car stop evolve over that time because of violence against law enforcement? Well, yes, since, since I've been doing it, it was 30 something years ago, it was always tactics approaching a car no matter how you, nothing changed. But the more you hear about shootings and the more violence against the police, the more the police are going to take it. They're even more heightened. Their job is to protect themselves, protect the public. But when you're approaching a vehicle or approaching a situation, what policemen will look at is people's hands. If you have a gun in the car, you can't use the gun if you don't if if you don't have your hands on them. So when you're talking to people, when they're asking to see the hands, it's really important. If you don't see the hands, you're going to escalate that, and the police should escalate because they fear of safety for themselves. Colonel, thank you for your analysis. Stick with WPRI.com and Eyewitness News for the latest on these developing stories.